Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're gonna to be doing a pick a card reading and the focus of these readings is to act as a guide or a compass at this point along your journey. Now at the start of this video, I did include a mini clip from my altar of all the different options that you can pick and choose from. Now I understand that there are many of you that like to listen to all of the messages because you gain so much from that and that is very much okay with me. There are others of you that actually pick and choose random cards, maybe not random, but intuitively guided. You're in intuitively guided and pulled to select different cards, and that is also okay. And for the rest of you, you prefer to choose just one. There are no right or wrong picks and selections that you'll ever find on my pick a card readings or on my channel. So just feel free to go with what feels good for you. Don't overly think it, don't overly exhaust it out. Just kind of go with what resonates and that is the right choice, the right answer for you. Let's go ahead and dive into the first card, which is that of the garden. Now, for those of you guys that picked the garden card, this is about exposure in a lot of ways and a good way. And when I see and when I'm saying the word exposure, I'm seeing a celebration, emphasis on the word celebration, of you sharing your gifts and the world seeing them and lighting up because they see you shine. That is where you're at currently at this stage in, this, in your journey or that is the next step and where it is that you're being guided to go to. For many of you, I'm not sure what this is, but this is very much heart chakra related energy. There is something that you love. There's something that you've been developing. There's something that you have been hiding away from the rest of the world. Why? Because it's very sacred and it's very something very special to you. It almost reminds me of someone who has given birth or has a child or is receiving a gift and instead of broadcasting it for the rest of the world to judge and to pick at it or to see it, it is something that is kept away and you are nurturing it, you are working on it, you're developing it, you're tending to it. And at this stage in the journey, at this stage in your cycle, at this point in your life, the universe or your guides, your angels, your intuitive self is calling you to pour it out, to share it so that the world can actually celebrate what you have been developing, what you have been working on. For many of you, I'm seeing this, interestingly enough, as a connection to your career and your purpose. I don't know why, but it almost reminds me of a creative person or a writer or someone who does work from the heart and work is for some it's very creative it's creative development but for others this is about written word and how much you are invested in what it is that you are writing maybe what you write and what you share impacts a greater the greater good or the bigger sense of the community that creates this movement that creates this wave of momentum and movement but really it's um, it's, it's, it's pretty much just that. It's exposing, it's revealing, it's speaking out, it's calling out so that others can see it. There is a strong message here that you are being protected throughout this entire process. There is a strong message that says, listen, what you have been working on, what you've been de developing, what you've been feeling, and what you have been preparing yourself for is not something that should be thrown out underdeveloped. It takes time to develop, it takes time to perfect this, and it's very important that when the time is right that you step out and you sing your heart song or you speak your heart's truth or you speak up for these people. And that's what I'm seeing here. Now, that's one aspect of this message that I'm seeing. For others, again, it's this vulnerability, it's a softness, it's this nurturing. It is time for you to enjoy your heart. It is time for you to for you to enjoy love. It's time for you to enjoy creativity, creative expression. There are past things that have occurred and past circumstances that have brought you up to this point. And for that, we thank them, we give gratitude from our heart, but I've already, for you, I'm seeing that you've mourned the loss, you've mourned the things that have happened, you've learned the lessons of the past, and now at this stage in your life, it's 
strictly about you enjoying. It's strictly about you giving love and giving creativity and giving yourself a second chance or a third chance or a fourth chance to try it again and to get it right this time. The thing that I want to say is that if this is love or if this is a new creative project, it needs to still be nurtured. It still needs to be protected. This isn't something that, again, just gets thrown out there and it's like, well, go fend for yourself. No, this is about those who should be here and should be investing in it and should be caring for it and should love are they're select they're they're going to be selected it can't just be just anyone so at this stage in your life and at this stage in your journey i'm seeing you going into a space that you are observing and you're watching who the universe who you're being guided to share this vulnerable um, side of yourself with i'm seeing root chakra I'm sorry, I'm seeing Rose Quartz and I'm also seeing Moonstone and Kunzanite. I don't know if that resonates with any of you guys. And there's also a crystal that's connected to the, it's an R, but it's not coming through to me, but it's connected to soulmates. It's connected to higher love, higher development and pulls your heart up to the divine. It connects it immediately. That's what it is that I'm seeing. But as far as crystals that... For some reason, it's crystal work that I'm seeing that's connected to the, to the heart chakra. But I'm seeing anything that it is that's developing here at this point in your life is there for your pleasure, for you to enjoy it, and to prepare yourself for yourself to enjoy what has been brewing for you and this stage in your life. Love serves a purpose for many of us to teach us lessons about ourselves, but at this point, in your journey at this point at the stage in at the road that you're in at your life love is here to make you feel good and to make you know how loved you are and to show you how beautiful you are this is something that you could be receiving from yourself and words that you're using for yourself but because these cards are so public because they are being there's this element of celebration and light that is coming from them I'm seeing this as connecting with another person and sharing that sanctuary, sharing your heart with others. This is not something to be forced. It's something that the universe is going to give to you and it is currently giving to you. I, I am interested in calling out, you know, is this intention that you are now setting? I feel like for a lot of you, if you chose the garden card, you've already set the intention for what it is that you want in your life. This is the manifestation of what has been building and brewing in your life for quite some time and now you're finally starting to see the movement. So instead of you calling it out, I'm actually seeing you ride the wave. I'm actually seeing you, you going along with it and flowing with this and receiving the most and <clears throat> enjoying it. It's literally for there, there for you to enjoy it. There's no pushing, there's no forcing, there's no convincing that you have to do. This is yours and yours alone and it's coming to you because you simply deserve it. And for those of you guys that are wondering what tarot cards I have, this is from the Egyptian tarot deck and it is the Ace of Cups and the Page of Cups. And these two bring offering of love and softness and joy and pleasure that is worth celebrating. So that's what I see for those of you guys at this point in your life when it comes to the compass if you chose the garden card what is it that you need to do next what is next in the stage in your life opening yourself up to love celebrating love moving but not striving not forcing this is about balancing your career balancing the effort with enjoyment emphasis on the word enjoyment what i don't want you to do is to criticize and question why i want you to at this stage in your life enjoy it enjoy all of the pleasures enjoy all of the moments if you are called to move towards art or if you're called to move to towards an intuitive that's even more confirmation because that's the energy what i'm seeing here but it's the birth of something it's the newness of something that is the current stage that you're at at this moment in your life now for those of you guys that picked the crossroads or the staircase this is your message okay so if you chose the crossroads which is this card this card is legit about making decisions it's either that way or it's that way so if you're called to this card i'm wondering why i want you to ask yourself why am i being asked to make a choice right now and how am i going to make that choice if this truly is the case i want to speak to you of course i do because i have these cards laid out and i have a message for you the first thing that stands out to me 
is the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Cups from the Egyptian Tarot. You can't see these cards as clear as I would like you to because the lighting is a little wonky. But what I'm seeing and what I'm feeling with this and what's making this decision and this choice that you have to make or I don't, I actually see it as clarity. It kind of reminds me of someone who has a sinus infection or a lot going on in their head that makes it hard for them to see things clearly and it's easy to be manipulated. I'm actually seeing at this point in the journey, it's like discernment. What is it that you're calling in? At this stage in your journey, if you chose this card, I want you to make sure that what you're calling in and what you are settling for or what you are accepting is something that you actually truly want. For some reason, I am almost seeing people are settling for less than they deserve if you chose this card and that's a choice that is that you're making, a decision that is that you're making, be, and you just are here right now. It's an impulsive decision when in reality, what you want for yourself is bigger and something that you have been wishing for and setting intention for for quite some time. Over time, you start to second guess your own self. You, say, you start to second guess your own magic and what can happen and what can occur for you. At this point, it's not that your wish isn't going to manifest. It actually has to be, be reborn in a different way, in a different light, and things have to kind of be weighed out. That is manipulation on the universe's side, but it needs to be the universe doing it. It needs to be the cosmos doing it. If you put a wish out there, it's almost like you need to be careful what it is that you're wishing for because you have moved from idealistic thinking and working your magic to almost pulling in or not trusting yourself and not stepping into your power. So what you are magnetizing into your life and what you are accepting is not what the universe has for you. And knowing this, you still decide, you still choose to settle here and it's impulsive and it's reckless and it's not wise. That's what it is that I'm getting right now. There is a connection to relationships here when it comes, or just heart's fulfillment. <sighs> and I'm seeing that for many of you, it's you have to be you have to use discernment. You have to control almost at this point in the journey, you have to control what you desire. You have to control your desires. There are physical desires that are one thing and there are spiritual desires that are a whole nother thing. And if you are being manipulated, if you're being led astray by this Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups, Nine of Cups energy you are sacrificing physical pleasure for spiritual fulfillment when you have set intention and you know that there is a greater purpose and something that you have that you're working to manifest. But if you are indulging so much in this temptation and because you're feeling insecure in yourself and what can occur, that's the vibration that you're gonna stay at. Now, I don't, there's this card here of forgiveness and or forgive and it is reversed and it says of course anger can always be justified but then so can forgiveness just depends on how much you want from the adventure go for gobs the universe this card came up reversed when it comes to your message and it says forgive for for some you're in a space right now where you definitely feel separated from your soulmate you feel separated from your life partner you've been wishing you've been calling out and you have been settling and part of settling is not you settling with lackluster partners at best part of you settling is you lowering your own standards and stop speaking to the universe and stop speaking to god because you're starting to give up well the universe is saying look your loneliness right now serves a very distinct purpose that is what we choose for you. I know that's not what you chose for yourself, but that is what we are choosing for you. Even as I'm saying that, it's coming through really, really strong. There is more to this connection. There's more to what needs to happen here than you will understand because you're coming from physical space. If you're coming from a spiritual space, you would sense, you would know that there is something that resonates with you. There is a soul connection there for you. 
but it's time. It's something that's like timing needs to come right now um, instead of you again settling and just giving up on your wishes. That's what I'm seeing for you currently at this moment in your life. I also am seeing that you have to be of service to others or you have to do some more work. A part of this might be, again, forgiving. This feels like I have to forgive them. How could I forgive them? How can I forgive that partner? How can I forgive my parents? How could I forgive the circumstance? How can I forgive God for putting me in this environment? That is a part of the journey, and that is what the universe is choosing for you to learn. Because if you don't, that bitterness, that resentment, that anger, that hurt, that frustration is going to carry in to the next uh, venture, the next relationship. I do see the soulmate card here for you. I just love this card so much. And I think that for many of you, and I'm really cautious about saying this, but for many of you, your past relationships have been very telling of what's going on internally and what you have called out and what you've put out into the universe. I think right now, at this point in your life, what the compass is pointing towards is to be of service to others. To be of service, not in a way that is going to produce love, romantic love, but it's you seeing how others have nothing to help you to see that you have everything right now and you're going into a space of unconditional love and unconditional service because that's what the universe wants you to do at this current point in time. Some people are gonna hate me for saying that and I'm sorry, but I um, I think, and it's, it's selfless love, and something about that, connecting to giving so much of yourself selflessly, seeing other people light up, and seeing <clears throat> what you get from that, when it comes to other people going through some incredible stuff, and them forgiving their own circumstances, is going to help you to forgive the things that have happened to you, and that is going to connect you to your soulmate, that is going to lift your vibration, that is going to help you to call in bigger and better for yourself, because at this point in your life, I feel like you've chosen less for yourself. And it's because you're seeing things from this physical um, desire. It's my physical needs right here, right now, need to be met. And it's ve it's almost like a lower vibration. It's the universe, and at this point in your life, is calling you to ask for more for yourself. But you wouldn't know that. You wouldn't know that. And I think that you being of service and you connecting with others is going to help you to see what can happen and learn to forgive and learn to be better and shift your vibration. And that is going to connect you to something so much higher and a higher level of giving and receiving love, connecting to your soulmate, forgiving the things that have happened to you, and moving forward, moving forward in such a strong space. And then also you have this card here that says, you glow, we beam. In case anyone should ask, your heart isn't so large because of your wings, it's your wings that are so large because of your heart. Sometimes loving so much can be pretty heavy. Thanks for all that you shared. I love that. I love that because if you think about this, this is a person that in the past has given so much of themselves and to, not to the wrong things, but it starts to get heavy. You know what I mean? Like life gets heavy. And when your heart gets heavy, you start, you start getting heavy. Your mind gets heavy. Your spirit starts getting heavy. And it's because of all that has happened. And what helps to lift that is really honestly in forgiving and releasing and not releasing and saying goodbye but releasing in with gratitude for what has happened what has occurred and i'm seeing you connect with others listening to them and pouring into them like giving to them generously so that you can see how much people appreciate you and how much people value you and it will inspire you once again to call out for more for yourself because you have a big a big heart but right now it just seems a little heavy and it seems like you're being disillusioned it seems like you're getting pulled down this one path and the light literally turns off for you <laughs> and instead of you going to the light you've almost like your root chakra choice decision making right now so you're trying to feed that desire feed that need but the universe says look what you're putting out there is what it is that you're getting and that's why it's almost like the cycle currently right now this is not about manipulating this is not about your insecurities this is about higher vibration and we want you to wish we want you to set intention for what it is that you truly want for yourself but your vibration has to match what it is that you're calling out towards at this point in your journey it's about lifting the vibration to a higher level and connecting to a soulmate a soulmate partner but also your soul's purpose that's what i'm seeing at this point for you in this journey 
and to not be afraid of doing some of this alone. You're not gonna be alone forever. I actually see you connecting with the other person. When it says you glow, we beam, it's because you're connecting with others. So that's what I'm seeing at this point for you, for those of you guys that chose the crossroads. All right, so for those of you guys that picked the whip, this card, if you chose this card, it's connected to punishment. It's connected to speed, and it's about lashing out, making things move, making things do the do. If you chose that, it's funny because part of you are being told to stop rushing, stop pushing, stop forcing, stop asserting your will. You're a very dominant person. You're a very dominant personality. You call the shots. Are you girl boss? Are you boss boss mode? You are in a space in your journey where there is a lot that is not for you to understand, but just because you don't, don't understand it doesn't mean that your power is diminished and that you are any less. You have to go into the unknown. It's not going to make sense to you. Spirit is not even speaking to you. It almost feels as though they spirit is quiet and it's quiet for a reason. They want you as well to freeze up. They want you to be still. They want you to go within. It's like you're in a winter stage in your life, potentially in the middle of summer. King of Swords is here with the temperance and for those of you guys that are part of my friend circle or for those of you guys that know me you know how i feel about the king of swords king of swords lately but the king of swords is here with temperance this is because the universe and you know this it's not the universe it's the it's the divine the the divine god this higher power your higher power your higher priestess understands that there is actually something that is being worked out here but it's like here all you can see is this you can't see all that's going on underneath it it's very much the tip of the iceberg and there's a lot going on underneath it but meanwhile you're like psh, psh, you're trying to like push it push it push it right now what you are being called to do at this stage in your life is to totally surrender your fears, totally surrender your doubt. Give them up as a incredible offering. You cannot see all. In fact, as I'm saying that, I see this card and she is blindfolded. She actually has a blindfold over her. I am seeing her and you as a high priestess, as a higher seeking, higher knowing individual. Oh my God, wow. And I've never seen this before, but I'm seeing this key with wings here. And what caught my attention to that is the plants on the side of her. And I just see that growing, but she can't see that. And it's the veil, like there's curtains around her. She cannot see. Spirit has you blindfolded right now so that you cannot see what is happening because if you saw it you would judge it you would react you would force your will and you would start working your magic to manipulate the forces it's like whoever chose this card the whip you are a powerful being you are a high priestess energy you are calling the shots you are known to call the shots you are the creator you are doing all of this and universe divine is saying if we showed you what we are working on for you it's not that you wouldn't trust it, but yeah, part of it is like, do you even trust us to give to you? Like, you are moving into the unknown. We are going to give you a key, but we're not gonna show you where that key is at because if you unlock the door too fast or if you set your magic or if you saw where you were to go, you would set your magic and signs would start showing you. It's too much, too soon, I need you to trust. Stop whipping things in, you have to retreat. You have to be still, be quiet. You can only see the tip and there's so much here that's developing. And the last time when we showed you what was up and we, we didn't trust you, but we tested you. We said, okay, if we show you this, don't do this. You did it regardless. So what you need to do is totally trust in spirit, totally trust with the, the higher power. You yourself are a part of the higher power. It's like, I am that I am. You are a mirror image of God, of the divine, and that is a part of the problem, <laughs> is because you are learning to step into your power, but a part of you is still learning a lot. It doesn't matter how old you are, how advanced you are in your studies of magic or intention or trusting spirit or trusting God, 
you have this way about you that is still learning how to retreat and to not assert your will and to stop calling out and to stop expecting. So we don't want you to connect and to see what's happening because you're a judge it. And when you judge it, when you make a call, you're going to start calling in some, some extra stuff when all you need to do is be still, be calm, and we are working things out. At the higher, higher priestess within you understands this and knows this and has been calling you to do that. It's like the high priestess that has felt disconnected from herself and is asking, why now are you quiet? Why now are you silent? Well, because we've been working on things for you and all we need you to do is to be still, to go within, to reconnect to yourself and to release your judgment, release this illusion. And by saying illusion, it's not that you're not seeing things for what they are because you're ignorant it's because there's more to it that meets the eye that intuitively you will connect with in your quiet in this quiet space and there's a lot of action that is happening in the non-action if that makes any sense there's a lot of abundance here um i'm really seeing this actually when it comes to love this is connected to a king of swords type of individual or maybe you yourself are the king of swords and that's why this energy is you were gravitating towards the whip lashing out. The universe, the divine, the higher self wants you to know that you are infinitely loved. You are not overlooked. It's not that spirit is not here with you. In fact, spirit is closer to you now more than ever. But we want you to trust in that power we want you to put down your own wand. We want you to put down your own sword. And we want you to go within because right now, if we showed you what was going to happen, you would start calling the shots and whipping things around. And right now, we need you to be still because temperance, with the temperance card and the king of swords, there are things that are being worked. And last time we showed you, you reacted. Last time you found out, you reacted. Last time you knew, you did too much. Stop doing that, all right? So that is the biggest offering that you can do. That is what you're being called to do right now. Part of you is fearful. This is the high priestess that got scared or spooked but hasn't shown it completely. Maybe you see what you've manifested in the past and it scared you. It is what it is. Maybe this is a high priestess that, or a high priest that has is so good at this, this, and this, but this one thing they suck at. So when it comes to that, you enter into survival mode and divine spirit is telling you right now, we are not going to show you because if you saw, you would be overwhelmed and you would probably self-destruct in some way. So connect with yourself right now and put your sword down, put your wand down, put your weapon down. You don't even need to do intention. You don't need to manifest anything because you've already called it out. Spirit knows. Divine knows, you know, but just be quiet, be still. That is where you're at at this point in the journey. Just be quiet just for a moment until our next pick card. That's what it is that I'm seeing for those of you guys that picked the whip. No more lashing out. Some of you guys, when you lash out, it's your words. Others, it's your magic. There is a lot of abundance around you too, by the way. You pulled the abundance card. It's it, This card is important because it's what you're seeking but it's also trivial because it just acts as confirmation and clarity to what you already know and as i look at the clock it's 3 33 p.m but what is truly happening here is it's like you're being tested to retreat within yourself and to know that when you're retreating and, and everything is quiet and still you need to learn that your power is not diminished or any less because you don't know what's happening in fact the reason why you don't know what's happening is for your own protection and I think that if you were to see it, you would again freak out. Something about, not, no one is perfect, we're all human here. I can relate to this. But sometimes when you manifest or you know that something is happening, then you start manipulating it, stop doing that. You're meant to not know. Into the unknown is this card. So that's what I'm seeing for those of you guys that chose the whip. Also, patience and timing will thaw even the coldest thing out. I feel like you need to hear that. Now, for those of you guys that picked the stork or the storks, this is your card. This is your message. This is what I see for you. Okay, so if you chose the stork, this card is connected to change and cycles and things happening like a little tick. 
they're happening in according to this is where we are instinctively guided to and we will be here again but right now we are here and this is the ways of life and it connects to family and offspring and good information coming in for you what i'm seeing is the miracle but as this miracle manifests because it's a clear and resounding yes i need you to listen to the fact that spirit at this point in your journey is telling you to go slow and to be intentional with everything that you say every word uttered every thought funk every thought that you think everything that you thought be intentional with it pay attention to it there is a message here a wisdom that only comes when you listen to it it's like clockwork this is divine timing this is a, almost like astrology this is at this point when this happens this door will open and that is the yes it is the truth it is what it is you cannot move it any faster you only had one card the hierophant i don't know why you only have one card but that is the way that it is everything happens for a reason but that is what you have pulled for yourself and that is your message the hierophant it's about the ways of the past and that is connect this shows me so much of connects me to the stork what we were just talking about because the stork is the cycle it's and the higher font is the card that collects the wisdom and collects history and teaches it to the next and that is a part of the cycle nothing moves any faster than it should or could or would and that is that is how it is with that you are to learn the truth of your past you are to listen to your elders you are to listen to yourself listen to your friends listen to those who have been there before you because everything is all connected that is you learning that is you stepping into true wisdom and i think that you need to you know, despite your differences despite how much you don't agree with the elder as much as you don't agree with what they're doing there is something to be learned from that maybe this is you trying to progress and move things forward despite differences despite how much you guys are polar opposites you know what to do but you also need to look to others to 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 guide you and to counsel you and that is the truth that is what you need to hear that is what needs to happen and all of this is for your highest and greatest good it's almost like a miracle these two separate things coming together for some of you this is connected to the twin flame connection and it's removing these obstacles that just seem unsurmountable like they seem so impossible it's moving these obstacles and listen and hearing um the call and stepping into that some of you guys the obstacle is yourself that's actually what it is that i'm getting some of you guys you are your own obstacle because you are resistant you are stubborn you have this set way in your brain in your mind and that needs to be changed that needs to evolve that's what needs to be taught to you that's what you need to connect to the elders listen to those who have been there done that before you that have what you want what you know talk to them what made them successful listen to what they're saying because they are there to guide you like truly they're there to guide you it may come across as cold or you may want to do things your way but so much of you is only just recently emerging and coming through fresh with fresh energy you don't have all the answers it doesn't matter if you're 60 years old or 80 years old or 10 there's so much to be learned. A three-year-old, a six-year-old has so much wisdom with them that a 90-year-old could learn from by connecting with that child and vice versa. So that's what I'm seeing is you are, you know, it's like um, comparison almost, you know, apples and oranges. This makes me different. This makes me different. Is any one better than the other? No, there's so much to gain from it. I need to connect with you. I need to slow down. I need to be more intentional. I need to observe the rules, hear the rules, 
follow the rules because they're set in place for a reason and instead of and I need to listen to them instead of me trying to break all everything down and go my own way there is wisdom in what has already occurred and I have to revisit that for some of you guys this is in the spirit world it almost reminds me of a student teacher type of connection where you are bringing in this new energy that you learned and that you can give to your teacher but also respect the fact that <laughs> your teacher your elder has also information that is going to teach you and to guide you and to help you emerge into the next stage and you will give that on to your offspring and that is a part of the cycle that's where you're at in this comp at, at, in your compass that's where your your journey is taking you right now and where the compass is pointing you towards is this cycle of growing and information being passed from one person to the next and the wisdom of that given to you by the divine given you by your elders and it's not something that's to be rushed you need to hear the truth you need to hear what they're saying you need to hear why it was done this way because there's so much that you need to observe and absorb to take it to the next level this, when I see the twin flame card, I'm also seeing this as your perfect match, your perfect teacher. But also for some of you guys, this is a, an actual like romantic relationship, but like the cycle within the relationship and learning from each other and slowing down and listening to each other and connecting with each other, despite the fact that one brings a totally different mindset than the other. It's connecting in that way. Listen to me, hear me. Before you respond and before you react, do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand my intention? Are we on each other's same team? Let's slow down. Let's steady the ground. Let's connect because we're gonna learn more from each other in that way. And there's a miracle that occurs just by you listening. Wow, that was a short and sweet message, but that's what I got from my store. Okay, for those of you that picked the dog card, this card is connected to loyalty and friendship and someone something that is always there for you and i love this card wow <laughs> i want you to come close i want you to come close look look if you chose the dog card it is time for you to trust in something someone what the universe has in store for you that you may be so uncomfortable with. This reminds me of a person that calls out for the highest and greatest thing that they could ever possibly think of. And then when it manifests, they are terrified of it and they will find any reason to procrastinate, to self-sabotage, to say, no, this isn't right. Like, no, this is right. You chose the dog for a reason. There is something currently that has been here all along that is loyal to you, that loves you, that adores you, that chooses you. It could be a person, it could be a job, it could be an opportunity, fill in the blank. But you have been, for a long time, wide open, calling out to the universe, this is what I want, this is what I want by my side, this loyal friend. And when it shows up in your life, you have your guard up, you have your defense up, all of a sudden you're not clear anymore, all of a sudden you're confused, all of a sudden you want to play the field, all of a sudden you, you want to explore your options. This thing here is so good. You are not, you are resisting, you are resisting and blocking out all the signs and that have sh that are showing you that this is right and convincing yourself in the entire process aka lying to yourself and saying like oh no there's something else out there no what you want has been here the entire time it's been right in front of your nose right in front of your fingertips but you have lied to yourself and in and also lying to yourself you've lied to others that's the stage of the journey that you hopefully are walking out of and the compass is pointing you to your true north which is there is someone something here and you have blocked it out and it's time for you to return back to it i am almost seeing like a dog when you throw a ball and they catch it 
some dogs will run off with the ball and not bring it back to you because they're and maybe they'll go off somewhere else like maybe they wanted you to throw that ball and then when you threw the ball they get distracted and no but then if you go to the ball then all of a sudden they go back to the ball and they're like oh i want the ball like of course you do of course you do that is you <laughs> you are and you know what actually now that i'm saying this there's some of you guys that are being called to actually spread seeds and to put you know explore your options but you are clouding yourself and you're doubting it but for many of you what i'm actually seeing is you have to trust what you've been putting out there this card oh, see as i looked up the clock was 22 22 but what i'm seeing with this card with vishnu the card of trust this is the manifestation of spirit bringing to you this shell abundant abundance and fertility bringing it to you because you threw it out there you've called it out there or you put it out there and out of nowhere the seas part and here i am right in front of you right in front of your face despite all the odds despite all the obstacles and instead of you accepting that and instead of you being like thank you your fear locks you up and you're like oh I didn't even see you over there. Like, what's going on over here? Like, and this spirit, this gift is just, hasn't moved. It's loyal. It's committed. It's devoted. And yet you're still like, like you're looking all the way over here. You're like, oh, is that ice cream? Like, did you not call out to the universe? Did you not put this out there? Did you not? Why are you being dishonest with yourself? You've, you've, you've shook up the water for yourself all by yourself with overthinking and you know um what is it like self-sabotage but almost finding all the distractions in the world to cloud you from being like yes because of fear because of resistance because all now all of a sudden you want to play the field like now all of a sudden you want to explore your options you have been exploring your options you do want this what you've been wanting has been here all along what i want you to do and what i'm seeing for you is to connect with what this dog is for you there's a reason why you chose that and instead of blocking it out meow, 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 i can't hear you i don't you know correspond with that or this isn't right no you have been seeing the signs for a really long time and but you've just been seeing them in your periphery but just being like oh well you know there's this or i can't because of this or this is wrong this is wrong this is wrong this isn't right no it is right it is time for you to calm yourself and to clear the waters, the emotional waters that have been happening within you. It's not that this situation isn't perfect. It's not because nothing is perfect. It's not that it's not destined for you. You have just convinced yourself and lied to yourself and been dishonest with yourself. And in that, in that dishonesty, you have emotionally and intuitively clouded the waters for yourself so that now you can't even see so it's time for you to calm yourself and to calm the emotion and to calm your fear and to connect again and to start exploring and developing and fostering and nurturing what has been here all along and give it a chance and that is where the seed needs to be planted it doesn't matter what has happened in the past it doesn't matter where you've come from. It doesn't matter your failures. It doesn't matter, you know, what others say because what others say has nothing to do with your happiness. You have your life to live. And when you have a person, a place, a thing that presents itself in front of you now that is so good and you're going to turn it away, you are actively choosing to go it alone and you've bitten yourself. You've, you've, attacked your own self it is time for you to focus in and to like it's like a dog that is so it makes me so sad because dogs are too loyal where all they want to do is love you like all they want to do is show up and be by your side and go for a walk with you and you could forget to feed them and they will forgive you just that fast and it's because they love you like there's no condition connected to that they just fucking love you and it let's say someone beat them and hurt them everything within them still wants to come back to you and love you because they love you and that's what i'm seeing for those of you guys that chose the dog you have something or someone or the universe is calling you to call out to receive that now 
and it is here it is present i need you to calm and to instead of being triggered by what has happened to you in the past you show up with love again show up with love for yourself show up with all of yourself and trust that because you've you've conflicted yourself you've been lying you've been dishonest or others have been dishonest with you and that's where this tension is coming from but there's something here that's been here all along let's see what this card says when you begin to find love in people and places where you haven't found it before it's always because you've grown you so rock all there is to love has been there all along i'm also seeing that for some of you guys need to hear that you are worthy of this love it doesn't come with conditions you're just worthy flaws and all it doesn't matter call out for the thing the boss the partner the home the space that you belong that won't reject you because you made a mistake or because you didn't understand or because you didn't do it right or you didn't know aren't you worthy of being taught aren't you worthy of effective communication and healthy communication and love regardless unconditionally that's a powerful message for the last one so that is what i'm seeing for our compass our current stage and journey in our life right now what messages you need to hear thank you so much for listening and observing and receiving these messages and i hope that they met you at the right place at the right time at this stage in this journey within your life if you love this reading if you love this message there are plenty more videos where this came from trust me as long as i'm alive i'll keep sharing what it is that i'm seeing because i couldn't even i couldn't not share even if i wanted to there are times when i'm tired and i get pulled out of my bed and i share my messages so make sure that you're subscribed to this youtube channel go ahead and share this message with your friends or your family and i will see you in my next video